Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Manx TT Superbike by Sega on the Sega Saturn, released in 1997, based on an arcade machine released in 1995 that was on the Model 2 board and co-developed by AM3 and AM4. Real family affair. Uh, I think it was the first bike game on that hardware, and you could link eight cabs or you know something like that. It's based on the Isle of Man TT events where they shut down the entire island, and you know you have that world uh, famous uh, bike racing event. So I'm not sure why it's called Manx. TT. Maybe that's a bike thing I'm missing out because Manx sounds, I don't know, like you borrowed someone's biking leathers and they didn't wash them out properly so you've got a bad case of the Manx. Anyway, two courses. One is based on the Isle of Man racing course and the uh, Isle of Man tourist board I believe helped them make it so it's accurate. The other one is made up but by the developers but uses scenery from the Isle of Man. You got two players simultaneous or you got one of you against it. Arcade and Saturn don't know what the difference is. This port was actually ported by Cygnosis to the Saturn, which I don't know, I find weird. And they also ported it to Windows. Anyway, now another game I bought, fuck all, it's absolutely macket. The manual's not got a crease, the disc is absolutely macket. Let's go with Arcade. Um, but I bought it because my brother had it back in the day and I really, really like playing it on his system. Now, the, from what I hear, so there you go, that's the accurate one. Oh, hang on, no, let's go back. That's the uh, the uh, the accurate one, the TT course, which is hard, and this is Lapsy Coast, which is fabricated. We'll go with that. Oh, there's a time. Oh, no, fuck it, I've gone backwards. Yeah, I don't like the way. This is most Sega and racing games, I find it. Reverses the controls between the game for progressing and does on touch screens. That's nothing. Yeah, my brother, yeah, automatically. My brother had it, and I really, really liked it. Got good reviews. Super cheap, guess that's because, you know, it's a super, you know, common game. Uh, but I do recall it's supposed to be played, well, you can play it with the, the, the pad, it shows you the controls, you've got no options, but it's supposed to be played with a steering wheel or the Knights into Dreams analog stick because otherwise you're kind of dabbing left or right and it's too sensitive. That remains to be seen. Right, so let's get into it. You've got accelerating brake and your top buttons. Oh, should change views because that's, oh, that's jarring, so we'll go with that one. Right, so yeah, dab it, dab it. Right, got my map top right, my position top left. Oh fuck, don't look at that. Oh, it does me that. And your laps beneath that. Speed bottom right. Oh, 136 miles an hour. Sexy. Now, is it the Isle of White Isle of Man that's a tax haven? I don't know. And do both of them, or which one has no speed limits naturally? It's the fact that Top Gear, when it was still good, was always going there and testing. Right, so where am I? 7th of 8th. Oh, it's got your standard classic cheesy. Fucking hell, it's frisky. Controls are well sensitive. They're as sensitive as a new romantic from the fucking 80s. But yeah, it's got your ace cheesy Sega 90s music. Ooh! Bike sandwich? Oh, that's satisfying. You can ram when there's collision. I like that. You don't come straight off. Don't know what the frame rate is. Uh, having come recently off Daytona, I can immediately tell you it's better than that. Third. Ooh! It's a bit clippy draw distance but that's Saturn. I think there's a charm to it. On the inside, like a sexy mofo. Oh no, you don't. I've really got the strangers to see if I can road rash their ass and twat them. Oh, talking, playing, not a good thing. And this is the easy course, mate. Again, I wouldn't mind the Knights into Dreams analog stick, but they they go for a reasonable chunk of change, don't they? Oh, you double bastards! Not to be confused with a single bastard or the singular bastard. Double bastards hunt hunting packs. The nasty fuckers. Way! Right, the bait. Oh, time limit! Didn't match that. Fuck, straight. Hey, everyone's lapping me. Ooh. Sexy. See if I can take someone out. Oh, you can block them and cut them off. Oh, this is a whole new game of cricket. Oh. I'm liking this. I have to say, so far, alright, it's only days, but I am liking this. Again, I really like to play it with the analog stick. Not making excuses, but go on. Right, so there's two courses, but then there you can do them in reverse, can't you? 
Ooh, so technically it's four courses. Well, it's not four. You know what I mean. It's a Sega racing game. You're not supposed to have loads of courses. That's not how shit worked back then. Final lap. Ooh. No, you don't. Fuck me, the more you're taking the mosquitoes. And I ain't got any Zs. Yay! Over him? Oh, I want to see if I can ride over him. I'm assuming that means he, he's out for a bit. God, you lose your position again so easily. And apparently I can steer in the air. It's kind of interesting. Now, I know the arcade machine had a really stay-at-the-art bike. Unlike the older sort of stuff, like Hang On, that where, and I remember playing that where, you know, you put your feet on the floor to kind of push yourself back up, or in my case, get your old man to hold the back of the bike and go, left hand, right hand. This was so sensitive, again, I never saw it back in the day, and would have loved to, so sensitive that you could use your body weight to tilt it, which is epic. Ooh, no you don't. I was epic as being second, which is not going to last for long, because I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh, I guess it's a question of course memorization, isn't it? Like any of these games. Because I don't dare blink, my eyes are really hurting. That's not to do with the frame rate. I think the frame rate's quite nice. Come on, come on. No, you don't. Oh, sneaky little fuck over the end. That was a singular bastard. Right, let's try... I love that, that 90s pixelated graphics. Right, let's try... Um... The TT course. Let's try that again. Arcade. Uh, this is going to end in tears, isn't it? Automatic. If you want to use manual, you shift up and shift down with the shoulder buttons, apparently. Right, this is hard, apparently. And I came third uh, on easy. Oh, fucking hell. Has everyone gone? Maybe I should have changed my bike. Shall we? No, I can't. That just hurts too much. I don't know if it's a RGB on an HD TV thing, but oh my freaking eyes! Right. Ooh, yeah, this course is a little bit more bitey. Ooh, a little bit more tight as well. Look at the trees clipping. That's quite cool. Well, not clipping. You know, clipping the camera as well. Oh, I've got a fucking itchy nose. Ooh, ah, managed to scratch it. Successful. Actually, I'm almost like just punch myself in the nose. That's epic. I am like, if this is accurate, that's cool, because that does really kind of, you know, it has the whole claustrophobic feel of the Iron Man bikes, the bike race. What am I, 7th of 8th? Oh my god, I made it so much bored. Ooh! Nice metallic chunky noises as well when you twat people. I do like that. Bike sandwich. I do like these, but you know, big, open, wide, and then sweep straight into you know, enclosed, claustrophobic. All right. Ooh, oh, you yeah. fuck it. Two tears in the bucket. Fuck it. Break anchors on. Jesus, right. I got. I should look at. Hey, fuck you, buddy guy. I should look at the map, shouldn't I? So I know where that massive fucking bend is, but I can't or I just come off my bike. You see people, this is why, much like real life, I don't really like red bikes. Oh Jesus, you can flip your end out on a bike? What accent is that? You sound French. Ooh. I gotta see you. Uh, I want to see if you can force yourself off the bike in the air. A bit stupid, I'll die, but well, lose the race. No, that's not the massive corner. Shit, I panicked, people. I panicked. Hey, pinball. Right, where's coming up? No, that's not it. Or was it? No, that's not it. I'm panicking now. My heart rate is elevated. Heart rate is elevated and everything. Maybe I could just try and follow him. Or his moves, I should say. Well, of course I'll follow him. He's in a fucking race that I'm in. Sexy and you know it. Oh, look at that! Bollocks. I was going to say champagne cornering, but I ballsed it right at the last minute. Come on! 
I mean, if I'm about to fail, then surely they're going to fail as well, because they're not that far in front of me, are they? Oh, it's the one that I all slide on. Three, two, come on, saucy. Yeah, there's everyone behind me, all four people, they're going to fail as well. So I'm not the only one who's shit in this uh, TT, am I? I do like this one a little bit, even though I'm about to fail on it. Oh no, he's still going! Christ! Oh, not blinking is really hurting eyes. And seriously, the sensation of speed is so good that if I do blink once I open my eyes again, I'm a completely different part of the track! Fuck nuggets. Well, they got to be out as well. Well, I'm going to call it quits there. Uh, Sega Manx TT Superbike, or Manx Superbike TT, oh, I don't know. Uh, I quite like it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.